Hello friends. I am excited to make this video for you about the best way to measure yourself um, if you're deciding to purchase a Beth Smith Textiles garment. Um, I, for most of my clothes, the, the hip is free. I don't need a hip measurement. I only need bust and waist if you're going to buy a dress and only the waist if you're purchasing a skirt. So let me show you <clears throat> and give you some tips. The first tip is wear a bra or undergarment that you are always going to wear with this dress. Um, if you measure yourself in one bra and then um, you wear a different bra with the dress, it's not going to fit the same. It's not going to fit well because the dress will be based on those measurements and the measurements in your bust will change depending on what kind of undergarment you have on. Um, so let's start there. If you don't have a tape measure, you can use a string and just mark the point and then measure it flat on a yardstick or wherever. So, um, so put the tape measure around straight across your back and then straight across the largest part of your bust. You see how the, the tape measure is sitting flat? That's what you want. Don't pull it too tight, but do get it snug. Um, you don't want to pull it in so it's, you know, smushing you together, but you also don't want it loose because then the dress won't fit you. I, want, I need an actual measurement. And so for me, that measurement today with this bra is 44 and a half. Some other bras I measure 43, some other bras I measure 45. It all depends on what undergarment I have on, but this is, this is one that I like to wear with my dresses and so that's why I chose this one. For your waist, now I wanna fold my waistband because if you were doing this, you wouldn't have other clothes on hopefully um, you would just wear um, your underwear that's the best way to do it and so for your waist I want you to stand straight bend to the side and there's going to be a place where you cr where there's a crease for me that's that's right here and so that's the waist measurement I'm going to take. That's usually the smallest point. And I put the tape measure on there. Again, straight across. And my measurement is 38. If you measure up, if you're going to buy, if you want a skirt, um, and you like to wear it higher, which I also do. This is this this is actually my smallest part. That measurement is 36 and a half for me. So there's a whole inch different. And so normally I like my skirts here about at my the bottom of my ribs, or well, yeah, about the bottom of my ribs. Um, that's my smallest point. That's where I like my skirt to sit. Um, but if you like to wear your clothes a little bit lower, you can measure lower. Just make sure the tape measure goes straight across. And um, again, if you don't have a tape measure at your house because you're not a dressmaker or a seamstress or anything like that, you can use a piece of string or a piece of ribbon and just, um, and just then measure that mark that with like a sharpie or something and then measure that length on something um, firmer like a you know even a construction tape measure would be fine I think that's all I have for you today and I hope this was helpful please do not add anything to the measurements um, because that's my job is to make sure that it fits you and when you're choosing your dress Choose based on your bust size, and then let me know if your waist falls out of the waist range, and we can adjust for that, but the bust size is the most important. So um, I hope that I'll be talking to you soon to choose fabric for your next Beth Smith Textiles garment.